Hi guys, how are you? So today I actually would love to do a video I've wanted to do for a while. So with this being said, um, I actually call forth the Azez beings. So if you feel and resonate to this video, I want you to know if you want to and you are allowed to connect to the Azez beings, they are a very high frequency and high dimension being um, that has existed for billions, if not trillions of years before humanity ever even evolved. Um, so with this being said, I would actually like to be put in contact with the Azez beings. And you can use a Zestulite, the crystal a Zestulite. Now, a Zestulite comes in different colors. Um, so right now, I am wearing black a Zestulite. I, um, they favor rainbow. Um, working with people who work with them with rainbow a Zestulite, clear a Zestulite, purple a Zestulite, um, more. Um, so that could be your sign. If you have any of this, that it may be time to get in contact with these people. So meditate on this, think on that, and, you know, proceed with caution or basically send up to your guides. Now, I did this off camera. So with this being said, the Azez beings, I please call you in. No lies, no deceit, no, me um, false messages. Um, I'm just asking for messages you can give humanity through this channel, please and thank you. So when I was shuffling, these are the cards that came out. So with this being said, I just want to get into this reading. So these are the th first three cards that fell out. So we have the six of swords, the four of swords, and then the knave of wands. So some of you right now are being called to push past limitations and to evolve past them. Now, the Azaz beings are saying, in this specific message in particular, some of you are spending way too much time worried and hung up about the what ifs instead of actually going and pushing past your limitations or being too comfortable within the boundaries in which you have set yourself or restricted yourself in this, this being. So they just want to tell you it's okay to feel scared but it's not okay to let yourself be afraid or fearful of the limitations in which your life has shown you always have a way out you always have a way of change you always have a way of expansion so the Azaz beings are offering you now this channel to evolve and to grow some of you are going past and growing past and you're leaving behind all of the what ifs, all the things that no longer serve you, the thoughts and everything that is not in play anymore that held you back. Now you're taking a stand and actually saying, you know what, I'm actually going to do this. It's not about proving yourself right or wrong or proving anybody else wrong. It's about growing as an individual and you feel stifled by not being, you know, not the growth that you expected so don't be hard on yourself and don't buy into what could be the what ifs and what actually look at it as the actual what is being presented um so what messages do you have to anybody who resonates and watches this video in any space time continuum so we have the high priestess and the ace of wands so very well so you have there i'm being told with the high priestess a lot of you or some of you depending on who resonates in this collective when this is watched or whatnot and how this is happening so with the high priestess intuition is actually being jump started because i'm seeing someone like a battery so some of you may be seeing dreams very vividly with the high priestess and this is saying do not um do not ignore your intuition do not in ignore the signs that you were seeing um you were being seen past the veil you were being given a key to look beyond the veil so with this being said this is a very precious this is a very precious gift from what they were saying now 
when I was saying that some of you are actually in close work to these as beings and they are enhancing because I'm seeing someone who is basically like I don't want to say Frankenstein's monster where Dr. Frankenstein is tinkering in with the brain and you see like pics and stuff some of you are actually being cleared out by the as as beings by some of these guides that you have and I want to tell you with this being said there is more than meets the eye in this and there is a message in that um cleaning out your brain and bringing you back to your crystalline body now this doesn't mean you have to alkalize yourself just you know eat more fruits and vegetables when you can do it in season um preferably organic I know it's a little bit more expensive if you grow your own fruits and vegetables um they're also saying like you have the ability depending on you know how good your your bounty is in the warmer months um is to share and don't expect anything in return don't expect to give it to money like literally just freely give it out because they're being said like when they work on you like some of the energy that they are going to transmute through you and to you is going to go into the ground it's also going to go back into your plants and your vegetables the animals that eat it so it's actually raising more awareness so basically they're gonna use you as a conduit to spread their energy is what they were saying in this so there is a new beginning in this but i do want to tell you that there is a lot more fiery energy coming through so some of you may be having heat flashes when this happens that that's your telltale sign when you have heat flashes if you've never experienced something like that or you just get random heat spells um mental exhaustion things like that or you just feel hot you know and it's nice and cool in there and just automatically it's hot you got to go somewhere else to cool down they're saying that's them look so the warm summer is really going to play a huge clarifying moment for you so be on the lookout but i'm also saying there's going to be happier times so there is a celebration in order i'm also seeing that a lot of you are seeing the light now um from what they were saying because look the ten of wands is like all the hard burdens that you have put into yourself or all the limitations that you have brought in you are now letting that go so with this being said the sun is a pivotal moment just to say, you know what, the summer is a time of celebration and hard work. And some of you are future planning and this is such a great thing. Um, I do want to tell you, with this being said, look, we have the king of chalices. So with that being said, um, you're going to feel a lot more playful in energy. Um, you're going to be more open and so with this there we go new beginning so some of you are having new beginning and emotional awakening so some of you are going to be emotionally maturing some of you are going to be given and extended an invitation now whatever this invitation is this is entirely up to you they're not going to speak on it they're not going to say anything but it's like an awakening emotionally so it's like your emotions are going to get jump started so that's why i said it's going to be more playful emotional energy for you so this could be an emotional cleansing for you time so that may be why like heat flashes are coming through is because this is your time to like expel or they're being burnt off now with the stars the stars are like a wish fulfillment it's like a positive outcome so the eight of pentacles is i'm seeing someone work really hard on moving to a next level or see some of y'all are just about that so there is going to be some financial gain in this opportunity so some of you may be starting a business getting a promotion uh, or stumbling onto like a side hustle so there is some quite I'm literally hearing it's a catch it's not like a catch 22 but it's like it's a catch like some of you just stumble into this and you're like oh okay now see but you have to leave the comfort nest you have to go get it you have to be a go-getter so literally i just heard young jeezy's go-getter featuring r kelly so there's a message somewhere in there for that okay we have the seven of swords and we have the knave of swords so don't be hung up in expectations or don't be hung up in your thought processes if you feel like things are not what they seem. I want to tell you some of you may be catching someone in the act. Now whatever this act may be because we have the seven of wands this is definitely a teaching moment. 
some of you are definitely being like this has to happen this hurt or this something has to happen because a part of you are just like ice cold to it it's something that's going to expand you in an intellectual manner it's going to expand you in all matters of the mental so you're being called like whatever this hurt and anxiety is it's actually causing it has to be deconstructed so some of you are like really guarded and you refuse to change and with that being said for those who are like refuse to change what is this so we have the strength and then we have the knave of of um cups so with this being said there is a strong emotional imbalance and like something okay what is this strong emotional imbalance like I'm really seeing someone who's like really strong like this emotional blockage is coming in and there is something in particular that's going to trigger you yep addiction so this could be a person um trauma this is something that plays in the back of your mind and it's literally has to be broken from you is what they're saying like spirit is trying to break this cycle or this addiction to you and the only way they can do it is basically causing a series of events to break it out of you to basically let you see the bridge that breaks and shatters you know the illusion that shatters so with this six of pentacles um this would talk about material gain and it would be a good thing but in this case some of you have just held on for too long and spirit is saying it's time to walk away now this doesn't have to be material gain or anything this could be like a person this addiction like it's been rotted for so long and yet you're still eating it and you're gonna get botulism from it like spirit is literally not playing with you guys and neither of the as as beings they want to level up humanity's course of action and their spiritual um i don't want to say agenda um because agenda makes it seem like it's evil or bad gatekeeping um it's more of a they want to partner in humanity's level they want to be and to help the other species of intellectual beings out there that are sending souls here to help but they're still behind the scenes so they want to take a firm action in helping those that they have chosen you know in the past before they came here and now in this moment they're they're ready to step in for the people that have chosen to work with them and they're accepted by them so we have the world but there is a bit of uncompleteness because look we have the star so some of you quite have yet to reach the level of what needs to be done and with this being said please clarify these two cards please clarify these two cards please So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Wands. So with this being said, some of you with this Ace, you have to get to a point of secureness within yourself, whether it be financially or just in life or even mentally within yourself, where you have victory and you've gotten to the point where you've successfully navigated some of the harshest cycles for you. So they're saying like there is a reward at the end of the tunnel after you've dealt with the hardships and you've secured your position. You've secured your invitation because they're showing me hard, 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 hard hog awards. So, you know, when they get acceptance letters, when, you know, magic basically activates. So you need to get to this activation portal. And when you secure that activation portal, you're going to go through and they're going to actually start working with you. They're going to start teaching you things. So right now it's like you're securing and you're starting to awaken to it. So with this being said, this activation, this video could be very well this activation portal for you guys. Um, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is like the beginning 
it's like the beginning of the end of everything that you knew before so now this is like the greatest accomplishment now it's like whether you choose to walk away or not like do you choose your your chalice and you know you walk away and leave disappointment in the past and you leave the past behind you so you usher in a new a new order and a new world for yourself not for everyone else but with this ace of wands this is like an expansion i'm hearing some of you like jupiter is going to play a huge part because i saw jupiter in this card and then we have the four look you have double fours so we have 44 um so google that what that means um angel number so with this being said some of you need to open yourself up to better um more fulfilling more more wholesome ventures whether financially emotionally you need to let the past stay in the past and not expect an overreach out um don't overexert yourself like set a routine is what i'm hearing in that especially with the four is like it's contemplation um with the four of cups but it's like you know you deserve better so spirit is saying with this being said don't hold on to what you think you deserve better and start showing them you take accountability for being better like you can't expect someone else to do all the things for you if you can't do it to yourself right any messages that you would really like the collective to know in terms of leveling up in a spiritual way? How can they do this? How can they activate in a spiritual way? They expand their spiritual. How can they expand their spiritual horizons? How can they expand? Death and rebirth. So letting things change and letting things take course of action, let it erode away is what I'm seeing. So some of you have some psychological issues where you have talked yourself out of it, where you're like, I can't do the dark night of the soul. I can't do this. I can't do this. It's not... You see everything that's going to be changed in a way and yet you still hope for the better. And this is something I've struggled with because I feel like a lot of you may, like me, feel like being vulnerable or going through something like this, you don't want things to change because you're so accustomed to the everyday routines. And it's scary when things come to an end because you don't want things to change when you get comfortable because it scares the shit out of you like I just said and I'm going through this right now where it's like in the last you know this last round of shadow work like it's never over for me like I pick it up you know every few months you know when I need to and whatnot and it's it's hard you know what I mean you watch relationships shift you become more aware of the energy input that you do versus other people put in and sometimes it doesn't balance you know and sometimes you really want the best for something and you look at the what ifs and the oh my god like the full potential but that potential just gets stuck here and there's no forward movement to push it back up here if it starts here and it just keeps going down and down and then boom it's like you you hit the pinnacle of you know and so when they say live fast it doesn't show you the bottom you know it doesn't show you how hard it is to get back to the top and so like with me in particular I really feel like I don't know what my purpose is in life like it's hard for me to read tarot for my clients and so I stopped doing tarot even though I still I still you know do here and there but not like for you guys for youtube maybe here and there you know to see what messages i can get but i just was like you know it's time to shift and it's time to evolve what else can i come through so like i'm questioning my purpose in life and how do i get out of my comfort zone so i don't know what's going on and so like in this card when death pulled out with this like i'm hearing eroding away at the falcade and the facade spirit is saying it's time to level up because death is in the past you know and we all go through a ceremonious and ritual death every single day 
So with this being said, with this in this card, Anubis is weighing of the heart against Ma'at, which is justice and truth, is cosmic order, right? And with that, and then the deceased to see if the heart, the person has lived a worthy life. So this is saying it's time to make a change for the better. And with this is being said is organize your priorities versus everything that doesn't align to you anymore. Let it go. Let it erode away because something better will take its place. So we have the five of cups. So it's like it's time for the transformation to happen because cups with with the five of cups is like looking in the past and crying over spilt milk, right? But it's like looking into the past. As you can see, there is an eye, right? And this eye is like red brown. So it's like a rusty color. So this is like eyeing the past and eyeing envy because you miss who you were in the past or you miss the good times. And the good times are not there anymore. So this is saying it's time to let the past die off and live in the present. It's time to basically kill off all the things that don't evolve us. They actually keep us grounded in this moment. So we have the Six of Cups. And now the Six of Cups is saying that some of you are still waiting and caught up for nostalgia and for love in the past and this is saying this childhood uh youth basically it's like the prime of your life is just it's gone and this is saying to let it because now you're entering the prime of the life that you will live and and only for you to do that you have to stop eyeing the path the rear view mirror is meant to be small because you're not meant to keep looking you, your eyes are so much wider into the scenery that is what's to come. You're going to look behind and you're going to crash because that's it's not what's meant. And now we have mental conflict. You have conflict with others. So some of you are wondering why things aren't working out. And it's actually because it's not stable. It's not going any place because it's stuck. It doesn't have compass heading. It doesn't, it doesn't suit you. And you're too busy holding and grasping onto this. It's possessive. And you're not supposed to be possessive of this anymore. Look, we have the nine. So some of you are telling yourself the illusions in which you think are being impulsive towards you are just they're harder to keep because now it's like you wanted it and you realize that the burdens that these things keep on you aren't worth it anymore look we have divine we have the divine empress right we have the seven of pence and then we have the hangs man right in reverse so with the empress a lot of you are struggling with and some of you may be struggling with intimacy or you struggle with a mother figure in your life and this mother figure you feel like to you may be someone that or even a feminine side you have struggled to watch it grow because you don't understand how to nurture or how to care or feel like a part of you just does it's closed off is what I'm hearing with this and some of you have deliberately hid this from you from yourself because you're scared to tap into that because of what society thinks so with this being said look we have the lovers so some of you may have been in a relationship with someone or even if it's not loving but I'm just gonna say in this particular you've been traumatized by a narcissist that expects everything to be done for you so we have the Queen of Pentacles on the split. So some of you have been dealing with women that have scarred you. And it's time to evolve past this. Or you've been evolved, involved with someone who expects a gender role and that's not who you are. You're the type of person that you have your own ideas and your own morals and your own life. And with this being said, this you're cutting past this and you're finding that the, the small victory in like your relationships is the fact that you would rather be alone. So you've cut yourself out. You've cut yourself out of knowing that sometimes 
it's better off to be alone and you have changed and you've evolved and you've grown past this right so with this the the hermit and the cups yep look so some of you may be in a third party situation and you're just ready to put an end to it and with this being said that's the best thing you can do to end situations that cause you misery and heartbreak so we have the king of wands or excuse me the king of swords i don't know why i'm thinking king of wands the king of swords right is here to offer you um clarity what is this clarity that you may have been robbed of the life that you wish you have lived that you wish and you like tried so hard to perpetrate and to live by and the king of swords is saying the clarity is this was never meant for you because something else lies greater ahead so with this being said the family that you wish you could have in the future what is this look we have the hierophant we have the two of swords we have the ten of cups right the hierophant the two of swords and the ten of cups so your perfect family doesn't lie in tradition it doesn't lie it's like very spiritual so some of you are like wishing for your soul family that's what i'm hearing like you need to tap into your soul tribe look and it's like don't juggle it's like what you think you can have what you actually have so with this is being said don't be caught up in aspects where you have to make a choice so with this being said some of you feel like you have to make a choice between yourself and your family and this is simply not the case they can coincide in both aspects but don't juggle some of you are like weighing under the crushing expectations of something that was established before you so don't let your family's expectations and what you think are your family's expectation hold you back and that's a clear message that they want you they want you to define your own life so we have the six of pentacles and then under the ace of cups so some of you i feel like a lot of times your money is like a part of your happiness and with this being said what is this the magician we have the magician the four of pentacles and the fool so there is a new beginning in this right you can monopolize anything that you need to monopolize look we have wish fulfillment we have the sun we have the nine we have the three and then boom you guys some of you may be coming into an inheritance. Some of you may be winning like scratch tickets. Um, one of you may be and selling something that's worth money. Or you have created a venture that it's, it's a money making. Look, it's money making. So don't get caught up in the risk takes, the falls, the follies. So with the hanged man, the nine of wands and the devil, there's a lot of work to be doing and to be done. So, but really you need to clear out your area. Um, don't live above your means. Is that what I'm saying? Like, don't look at people who have bags. Don't be like, don't fall into that. Right. So I want to tell you like inspiration is going to come from the divine and like this divine idea. What is this divine idea? We have the Knight of Wands. So this divine idea is like a divine intervention is what I'm hearing. Divine intervention is going to play in this. Like you are going to get inspiration of a lifetime from spirit for those that resonate with this. Um, so we have Strength, the Knight. So very strong, very strong energy. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Five of Pence, and then we have the Five of Cups. So this could actually be inspiration from the past. So some of you like, ooh, yeah, the past is calling. Yeah, the only way you're going to evolve in this intervention, someone from the past may be returning or someone from a past life will be returning to you. And this is actually going to give you inspiration and it's like divine intervention. Like they're going to sit there and maybe you all have like a strong connection so divine intervention is actually going to pull you away so i just want to say with this the six of cups or six of cups the six of pentacles it's time for you to start being very aware of your surroundings and you need to start planning is what i'm hearing 
you need to start planning because a beautiful life is about to, to come into fruition. So I want to tell you any last messages. Any last messages. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm just going to say don't chase money because money is abundant. I want to tell you be structured and be ground know your boundaries know your worth and let that shit drive you so with this being said thank you to the azaz beings for coming through and talking to us Ooh, we have we have fulfillment we have emotional fulfillment so i just want to say thank you to the azaz beings for giving us this message or these messages thank you to everyone that this resonated with and thank you for allowing me to facilitate this connection to these higher beings. So thank you so much. Peace, love, and happiness.